Hi, my friend. It's Dr. Suki, and I mentor wellness experts just like you, helping you take your business and life to extraordinary levels. Today, I have a very special message for you. I want to help you understand what you're doing in your business practice and what you can do to really double and triple your ability to serve people and actually create that abundance that you know you can in your life. I have a couple different terms I want you to think about. One is LCV and the other is PVA. Have you heard of those terms? Because if you haven't heard of LCV or PVA, you are missing out on such a big part of your practice and how you serve people. So PVA is your person or patient visit average. So what that actually means is when a person walks into your practice, how many times do they come back for more, for more of your products, for more of your service, for more of your ability to lead them on that wellness journey? Is that number five? Is it 10? Is it 15? Is it 30? Is it 40? I want you to have a look at that stat. You should have that number on the top of your head because that leads into our next understanding, which is called LCV. Your LCV is your lifetime client value. You must understand how your practice is set up and how your systems and processes allow you to serve people so you know every single time somebody walks into your practice, you know the lifetime client value is X amount of dollars. Couple things I'll share with you. With the wellness experts I mentored and the journey that I've been on being in practice, you need that LCV, you need that lifetime client value to be well over $10,000. Yes, well over $10,000. From a PVA, how many average visits is that person coming to see you? That number should be at least over 100 visits. If you're not in that ballpark, you are missing out in a massive opportunity. Because I know what it takes, I know what it takes to go out there, market your product services. I know the sweat, the time, the energy, and all the effort that you go out there to actually get new patients and new people into your office. Think about it. When those people come in, do you have a structure and system in place that allows them to continue on that journey with you? Because here's the deal. What we know as a wellness expert, the longer that you can have and serve those people, the increased health, well-being, outcome measures they have. The happier they are, the happier you are, the more your business is thriving. What I've learned from the majority of wellness experts is you are in the business of marketing and looking for new people and new patients. It's like you're up at night, you're thinking about how am I gonna get more new people and the second you get a dip in new patients coming into your office, your entire practice suffers. You are in the business of marketing. You're not in the business of being a wellness expert. What you have to do to change these numbers is you have to ask yourself some very, very powerful questions. The first is, do you believe healing is a process? Do you believe healing is a process? Do you believe that healing has a start and a finish? Or do you believe that you can continually allow people to evolve and grow physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually with the products and services that you have? These are powerful questions because when you understand what your belief system is and how you're actually practicing, what most I've learned from in the wellness industry is that we're still plugging in a symptom-based allopathic model in the treatment of symptom sickness and disease, even though we know people are holistic beings and we can serve them way beyond their symptom sickness and disease. So when you answer those questions and you look at your business systems and processes from the moment someone walks in to the moment they leave, do you have a structure in place that continually leads them down a path or is your practice a revolving door? Awareness is key. Once you have this awareness, you can begin to take a step back from your practice. You can begin to, begin to look at what you're actually doing in your practice 
and get out of what I call the treadmill hamster wheel of constantly looking for new people because that's not what you signed up for. That's not what got you up in the morning. And when you understand that, you can begin to shift and change your systems and processes and how you communicate and articulate what you do, how you serve people, how you're able to transform their life once they're in symptom sickness disease, when they get out of it, and how you can really help people maximize and actualize their full potential. So take a step back, learn your patient visit average, know your lifetime client value. And when you do this and look at this, all of a sudden those numbers start to improve and then you become an expert in the wellness industry. You start doing what gets you up in the morning and you're out of this marketing mill of trying to find new people because you're just serving the people that want your products and services. So. Let me know what you think of this video. Leave a comment below. If you have a colleague that you feel could benefit from this, please send it to them. I look forward to hearing from you and we'll chat with you soon. Goodbye, my friend.